All right, guys, I'm going to give you one guess what's in this box. It's going on this XP Turbo. Stick around. Hey, guys, good morning to you. Welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate you stopping by. Even really appreciate it a lot more if you subscribe. But, hey, that's a, for a different story. And uh, we're going to move on to what I really invite you here today. And that's for the Shock Therapy uh, spring upgrade kit now I've really only ridden this thing a few hours of really hard off-roading after I broke it in up in Mammoth last month um, it's handling really well for me and I'm new to this off-road scene me and Sassy never have owned a off-road car before and um, we, we love it a lot but we really don't have much to judge that suspension against so but Asking around and looking around the internet, it looks like shock therapy is the way to go when it comes to upgrading to a more plush ride. Now, we're more getting into the overlanding scene. You know, we really want to travel, explore, see the trails, the mountains, but more in a gentle sense for now. But we want a plush ride, and we want to be able to kick it up a notch when we have to. So shock therapy to the rescue, and today... Uh, I got an off Friday, and, and we're going to go ahead and put those on. I've never changed shock springs before, so again, this is new to me, so let's get started. Okay, I definitely uh, don't want to take away from any of those other great videos that are out there about how you take off these shocks, uh, how you change the springs. One of the best ones, obviously, is from Shock Therapy themselves. So guys, uh, if you have any doubts, go to the source. Um, great explanations, clear easy to understand but i'll tell you right now the front shocks need 15 millimeter and the rear shocks need 18 millimeter uh, top and bottom so that's really all the tools you need besides a screwdriver to push up the bump stop to get the lower collar out but uh, they recommend taking the shocks off the vehicle um, which is what i'm going to do and uh, let's uh, go ahead and get started on that now for the front shocks uh they recommend that you uh, lift the front of the car up until there's just about a half inch or so uh, between the floor and the wheel. Uh, that's so you can get your feet under there and kind of jimmy the, uh, the uh, control arms there so that uh, you can get these uh, bolts out. Uh, loosen and remove the top one first. Uh, I'm sorry, the bottom one first. And then do the top and take the shock on out. All right, guys, I got the uh, left front shock off here. Now, guys, uh, don't worry if you don't have an impact driver. Um, get yourself just a long breaker bar. Um, sturdy pipe on a regular wrench will do fine, but I, uh, I got the half inch with the impact driver uh, just in case. And um, get yourself a, uh, you know, 15, in, uh, 15 millimeter um, wrench for the other side. Uh, and then just work it. Um, once you break it, just switch over to a 3.8, so that's all it needs, guys. And you're going to end up with these two bolts here with a nylock nut on one side. And keep that washer there. That's on the nut side. And there's just the uh, the shoulder bolt right here. I'm uh, pretty sure this looks like grade 8 or something. Maybe, maybe 5. I don't know. But that's all there is to it, guys. So what I'm going to do now is get started. A uh, friend, uh, Tim, uh, loaned me his uh, Harbor Freight spring compressors. Uh, this should work just fine. Um, one little word of advice, um, don't go too high on this um, and just use uh, enough uh, what you need. Of course, you can loosen up this collar here a lot. Uh, you might even be able to just get enough slack by loosening that top preload to get this one off. Um, otherwise, um, you know, a little bit of a spring compressor should come right off. All right, guys. Uh, after uh, compressing the spring just a little bit and uh, loosening this up almost uh, all the way. Uh, of course, using a screwdriver to pry up that bump stop there. Um, the little retaining collar comes right off. And be sure before you put these on there, they are tagged front, lower, front, upper. So the front upper goes on first. Okay, followed by the stock plastic collar here. All right, and uh, don't forget 
your Walker two inch crossover for the front shocks. The two and a half are for the back. So put them over there so you don't get them confused. Okay. Um, go to the website, um, Shock Therapy, to get the correct measurements here. Okay. I'm putting these on a 2021 two seat XP turbo. And um, these spring rates are specifically for the accessories in my riding style that I have installed on my car. So um, I'm not going to really get into this stuff. It's kind of unique per vehicle. Uh, although I think the measurements uh, cross over, no pun intended, but uh, you know, um, just go, go check it out and um, I'll show you how mine end up. There you go, guys. Uh, there's the front. Now I'm just going to repeat this on the other side and then move on to the back. I can't wait to try these out on the trail, but uh, installation is just about the same, except the top preload collar is two inches from the bridge and the crossover ring is uh, a full eight inches. Um, that's the big difference. Again, check the website for your particular application and uh, let's finish it up. All I need to do now is uh, kind of relax the suspension, you know, drive it around a little bit. And uh, I think I'm gonna take it to my top secret test track. It's really no secret. It's this alley behind me. I live in a uh, suburban neighborhood, so I really don't have a trail nearby, but uh, man, I could make an alley fun. guys there they are hey guys i noticed a huge difference right away it's more plush i don't feel all those little tiny uh, jabs in the gut you know when you're going over little bumps and stuff like that uh it's feeling really good i really like it a lot we're going up to mammoth mountain area of mono county fourth of july weekend it's going to be the ultimate test on the trail with me and sassy we're gonna be riding with some friends hope to see uh clint and alicia and it's gonna be fun. So guys, hey, thanks a lot for watching and a special thanks to Shock Therapy. Badass Springs, that's all I got to say about that. Guys, see you later.